version of IEC 2018. Uh, I am uh, Michael from Sipatum University. Today, um, it is my great honor and a pleasure to have this distinguished gentleman on my left-hand side, uh, Mr. Dawao Cha from Class Central, the founder, the chief officer, and the heart and the soul of this website, Class Central. And uh, I am sure we are here because we would like to learn more about his website. It is remarkable uh, what he has done. Uh, to me, this is phenomenon that he come up with a MOOC search engine with heavily has been heavily utilized worldwide and uh, he also write so many good articles on MOOCs. So if you would like to uh, follow him on social media such as Twitter, then you will understand what I mean. He has a lot of publications all the time about MOOCs that is happening around the world. Okay, to help you with, with this, I have created a website um, you can scan now, or you can also go to this link, bit.ly slash IEC2018 underscore class central. Okay, in here, um, I will try to, I will try to provide information that you might need to know after this. So you don't have to type any URL by yourself. You can just refresh my website, and then you will get the information that you need. OK, if you are ready, this is the website, and this is uh, his uh, photo taken many years ago. <laughs> OK, now he looks better. Davo Shah is a distinguished gentleman uh, originally from India, but right now he is living in uh, the States. In USA, uh, okay, okay. You need to scan. Can you scan? Okay, let me enlarge. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let me go back to introduction again. All right. Davao originally from India, but right now he is living in Thailand, uh, not Thailand, <laughs> in the state. But uh, this morning he told me that perhaps in the future he would like to relocate to Thailand. He, he loves being here. This is his second time. Uh, so it is a pleasure to having him here. And today he will share with us the information about his website. As you know, um, he has created this website, Class Central. Class means Hong Lien. Central is Sun Kang. Sun Kang Hong Lien Mu. Uh, this session will be in two languages, English and Thai. If you feel more comfortable um, asking in Thai language, don't hold back, ask in Thai. If you want to communicate in English, don't hold back, talk in English, no problem. If you want to talk other languages, sorry, we don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, to, to begin with, if you are here already, why don't you click on the website Class Central? It, the link here, it will take you to this good looking, clean, very well designed website called Class Central. And to me, my life every day, I have to check this website for some reason. And uh, I would like to share the reason with you. Um, there are many new MOOC courses coming up nearly every day. We don't know which courses we might like to enroll. We might know which courses become free. Sometimes they cost a lot of money, but for some reason they have promotion. But we cannot keep track on that. There may be some courses that I want to enroll, but the quality of the course might not be good. So it's going to be a big waste of my time to enroll there. His website provides me clear guidance on how to choose the courses I want or I might want, how to enroll paid courses for free, how to follow someone who are 
very keen <laughs> learners and then uh, follow the study part that that person do. Okay, now well, this is the website. Can you explain to us, uh, give us introduction on your website, please? And uh, right now, now well, not to put a pressure on you, I am recording my screen. Okay. And that is a camera, so everything is recorded. <laughs> okay, please. So this is the home page, but actually most of our users don't come through the home page. Oh. Uh, they might go to Google and they will search for, uh, let's say, uh, free online courses. We love free things. And uh, you can see like Class Central courses show, uh, show up uh, higher. Uh. So. So many people actually come from these side pages. Um, so we organize the courses in. Uh, we organize the courses in different ways. Uh, so you can either browse courses by subject, and we have uh, we manually categorize these courses into these subjects. Uh, we probably have 100 plus subjects right now. Uh, there's a subjects page uh, which you can go from uh, the navigation menu and then subject and see all subjects. Oh, okay. So we start with Google free online courses and we will find Class Central on top of the list. Yeah, you might also search for sociology online courses or machine learning online courses and many people end up on Class Central because through these um, you can also browse by university, oh. uh, so you can, uh, you know, like we have a long list of universities, and uh, uh, you can browse courses by universities. It's a very long list. Wow, eight hundred thirty-five university worldwide. Yeah, uh, and we don't even list Thai MOOC yet, so so some of it is. Also, uh, one day Thai MOOC may be listed. We want to, yeah, definitely. Uh, you have to say yes, please. Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, um, and then uh, you can either browse by course providers, course, you know, like uh, Coursera, Udacity, edX. Uh, we have around 40 plus providers, and you can browse directly through providers. Um, but if you sign up, what one of the things you can do is you can follow. You can follow a subject. Uh, you can f like follow a provider. So if you go to a subject page, like let's say we'll go to computer science, the most popular subject, you can see we have 214,000 followers. Um, so if you follow all these uh, the ba so things that are based on your interest, you need to sign up. Uh, what you will ha happen is every month we'll send you an email saying like these are the new courses uh, for the subjects or for the providers or universities. Uh, that you are following. So it's a way, if you don't want to check the site every month, uh, it's a way to keep up with what's happening in the in the MOOC world. Uh, you, you can also search, so you can, uh, you can put a search term and you find all the courses and you can also create alerts for the search term. So if you are, you, you know, if there's a course that you're, that uh, may be not offered, you can just search for it and create an alert. And whenever somebody is te teaching a course related to that, we'll send you a notification. So it's another way to track uh, what's happening in the MOOC world. Um, so let's say if I would like to enroll in, um, say, gamification, then I can register on your website first and I just follow any institution who offer this course. Or you can just for create an alert for gamification. Oh, if any institution offer gamification, I will get alert. Yes. Ah, so your website actually assists me finding the courses for me. Yeah, because this space is still 
pretty new. So many, the popular topics have a lot of courses, but some of the smaller topics, uh, the courses are still being created. Okay. Um, so may I say a little bit in Thai? Ajahn Kap Tung Nimi Payot Mak, Vulati Pum Jatit Tam Ha, Lai Wicha Mai Mai, T. Bang T. Chung Nan Mai 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 Entrepreneurship ผมแค่พิมพ์สมัครสมาชิกเว็บเขานะครับแล้วไปที่เนี่ยครับ Create Alert ผมเสิร์ชคำว่า Entrepreneurship ก่อนแล้วไปกดปุ่ม Create Alert for Entrepreneurship เมื่อมีมหาลัยไหนนะครับซึ่งเขามีตั้ง800เกือบ900มหาวิทยาลัยที่เป็นสมาชิกของเว็บเขานะครับเปิดสอน Entrepreneurship ระบบเขาก็จะส่งอีเมลมาบอกผมหรือไม่ก็จะมีป๊อปอัพขึ้นมาบนสกรีนครับถ้าผมล็อกอินเข้าไว้ในเว็บเขาบอกว่าขณะนี้องค์ธุรกิจของมหาลัยนี้กําลังจะเปิดแล้วมันมันช่วยมากเลยนะครับวันวันผมก็หมกมุ่นกับเรื่องนี้แหละคือไปพิมพ์เสิร์ชเทอมไว้นะครับมันจะมีคําคําบางคําที่หน้าตามากเช่น disruptive นะครับดิจิตอลมาร์เก็ตติ้งนะครับหรือท่านอาจารย์ถ้าสอนสาขาไหนเนี่ยลองไปคลิกตรงนั้นลองเสิร์ชเชิงตรงนั้นไว้เกิดมีวิชาไหนเปิดขึ้นมาปุ๊บบอกเราเลยเราจะได้เข้าไปลองดูเนื้อหาได้ส่วนใหญ่ก็จะเรียนฟรีถ้าในเสียงเงินบางทีก็จะมีพรีวิวให้เราดูครับ okay, just explain to them that uh, for my case I love to follow important keywords relating to my interest or my profession so your website actually provide me uh, like Personal assistant telling mm-hmm. me whenever and wherever the courses will be available by who? Uh, yes, and uh, this is how a list of courses look like. Like you search for gamification, and then on the left you can search for courses which offer a certificate. Um, you can also search for courses which are uh, based on start date. So, so if you want courses that you can. Uh, start immediately. Maybe you just want to start uh, look at self-paced courses. Uh, you also might want to look at recently or courses that are recently started. So you can almost start immediately. So uh, in this case, it's not useful, but there's also a, a filter by subject. So you can look at what the which the courses are in which subject. But if you go to something like, uh, let's say, go to university, and if you go to Stanford, so you can see like uh, they offer a majority of the courses in computer science, health and medicine. So you can uh, so you can like filter by if you're looking for Stanford social science courses, you just click on the filter, and it will. F- Show you only uh, social science courses from Stanford, and you can follow Stanford. So once you uh, once you click on this, you'll actually get a notification to sign up, a pop up. Uh, but after you sign up, uh, we'll send you email whenever Stanford adds a new course. Uh, while browsing, you can also watch. Uh, Watch a quick trailer. So if you click on this watch trailer, not all courses have this, but when they have, we show it, and you can quickly watch the trailer. One, two, three. You did this course, right? One, two, uh, three. Not this one. Not this one. You. Uh, but oops. So the trailer is actually an advertising video, promo video, a short version, one to three minutes. If you watch the video clip and you don't like it, then don't enroll. But if you watch the video clip, you like the tone, the mood, the everything based on that video clip, you can then decide to enroll, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can also get the you know, video tells you how much effort they have put in, what is the quality of the course. 
is it just a talking head or sometimes these uh, courses put a lot of effort in creating these intro videos so so like this course you can see all the like anim custom animation We're and all that so you it, this might be a good deeper, course launching on april the 21st um, in the first one other thing to look at is uh, if you go to courses here, you can look at the top 50 MOOCs of all time. And this is the, the neat place, the nice place. Top 50 MOOC courses of all time aggregated for many providers, right? 41 providers. Yes, and these are uh, based on reviews that our students have left, our learners have left. Uh, why is it? Uh, so you can see the rating and the number of reviews. May I, may I enlarge this? Yeah. For example, this one from University of California, learning how to learn, powerful mental tool to help you master through tough subjects. Oh, okay. Wow. It's my Five star from nearly 5,000 learners. It's my favorite course. Uh, ah. So if you click on the course, you can get more details. So you can see, uh, so one of the things you can do with courses is uh, you can uh, mark them as interested, dropped, uh, based on whatever you're doing. So if you mark them as interested, uh, it's like following the course and we'll send you a notification when somebody sends you, when they start a new session. Uh, uh, let me just sign up. Oh, this one is also free. Yeah, it's my favorite course. Uh, and you can see like 40,000 people are signed up, uh, are interested in the course on Class Central. Uh, 4,007 reviews, so you can go, go through the reviews uh, here. And you can see we have a lot more, a lot of reviews. And you can see the distribution of rating 89% said 5 star, 10% said 4 star, and like wow. almost, so. That's a lot, uh, really. Yeah, it's one of the highest rated courses on Class Central. And, so uh, you want to... Um, let, let's say you're interested, and you will click on interested, and then it asks you to sign up. You can use my Facebook. So he's already signed in with Facebook before, so he just got logged in because he already has an account that he signed into through Facebook. Um, uh, it's, it's just a way to sign in, so it makes it easier. So. Uh, no, we don't. We can ask for those permissions, but we don't know that. So when you sign up, you will see a box, and you'll, it will show you what permissions are you want. So the only thing you share with us is the email address and the profile pic. So, but we can't see your friends, we can't see your posts, we can't do any of it. Um, I wrote the code, so I don't. I don't want your data. So. Um, uh, I'm sorry, just, just to make sure, I'm sorry. There are two uh, steps. Um, I just signed in to his website. I haven't registered to the course yet. So his website, I log in using my Facebook as a key. Okay. But then if I would like to really study this course, well, then he will show. have to click. Uh, so you have to click on go to class. And this is a Coursera course. So it will take you to Coursera. You don't have to. Yeah. You can. No, I mean, in, in my profile, if you go to this program too, uh, let me. Uh, 
ิดอย่างนี้ครับอาจารย์ครับวิธีการสมัครเป็นสมาชิกเว็บของเขานะครับทําได้3วิธี1คือถ้าเราถ้าเราอยากจะเร็วที่สุดเราล็อกอินไปเลยด้วย Facebook นะครับเขาจะรู้ว่าชื่ออะไรเราชื่ออะไรเขาจะเห็นหน้าเราเขาจะรู้อีเมลเราแค่นั้นเขาไม่รู้เรื่องอื่นเ,เวลาที่เราล็อกอินเข้าไปโปรไฟล์เราจะมีข้อมูลนั้นทีนี้ถ้าเราไม่ใช่ Facebook เราสามารถใช้ Gmail ได้ถ้าเราไม่ใช่ Facebook หรือ Gmail ซึ่งเรามีอยู่แล้วเราสามารถพิมพ์ชื่อนามสกุลเราแล้วกรอกข้อมูลเข้าไปสมัครใส่อีเมลเข้าไปเองได้ครับถ้าถ้าอย่างนั้นปุ๊บเนี่ยมันก็ไม่เป็นลิงก์อะไรเลยมันถือว่าเป็นการสร้างโปรไฟล์แบบแมนนวลครับทีนี้พอสมัครปุ๊บเนี่ยถามว่าทําไมต้องใช้ Facebook ทําไมต้องใช้ Google มันมันไปยุ่งอะไรกับโปรไฟล์เราใน Facebook เปล่าคําตอบคือไม่เลย Facebook กับ Google เขาให้บริการเหมือนกับตัวเขาเป็นกุญแจเพราะนั้นก็เราก็ไม่ต้องจำพาสเวิร์ดเยอะสามารถที่จะล็อกอินตรงนี้ได้ครับคนที่จะได้ข้อมูลเราอะ่ะก็คือ Facebook ไม่ใช่เว็บเขาครับครับโอเค Uh, so yeah, so to actually take the course, you need to click on Go to Class and go to Coursera, and then you might, if you don't have an account, you have to create an account here. Um, and the, some of the other things you can do is like you can have mark the course as uh, interested. Uh, either if you complete it, you can uh, mark it as completed. Uh, and then it goes. Everything uh, goes to your profile. Uh, the profile is default private. It's private. Uh, but if you want, you can make it public too. So let me show you my profile. We don't even have to log in. Uh, my profile is public. Oh, so if I choose my profile to be public, then I can do the same way. Yes. Ah. Uh, so, so this is, uh, and uh, you can see the courses that I have completed. So we call this the transcript page. Uh, you can see all the courses that I have completed, audited, dropped. Uh, you and then you can see what courses I'm interested in, and also the reviews of courses that I have written. So, uh, we don't. We by default it's all private. Uh, but if you want to to make it public, it's it's fine. You can share it with your friends and. You can follow your friends and see what they are, you know, what courses they're coming doing. Eventually, we want to be able you to actually follow, like the follow button we have. You can follow people, and then you, you know, whenever Michael finishes a course, you will get a uh, you will get a notification. I see. So, for example, it, it doesn't happen right now. Eventually, uh, okay. If I follow you, I can see that you have just completed a course. I might write um, a message asking for your personal opinion. Not yet. We don't yet. let you know. Eventually, eventually. So this is going to be a learning community. Yes. Uh, eventually, we hope to like you know if you have questions about uh, questions about a course, and you can probably ask someone who's already done the course. Uh, Amazon, I don't know. Amazon does that where you can ask questions about the products, and people answer it. So. It's something we want to eventually build that feature out into Class Central so that our com learners can help each other. So you will integrate crowdsourcing feature into uh, as another feature on this website. Uh, just just one one thing, please. Uh, as you can see, this is a big big catalog for browsing your favorite MOOC courses. You can look at the review. You can read the review. You can uh, create your profile, telling the world how many courses you have finished, you have completed, how many courses you have dropped. Mm, it's it's up to you. It's up to you. So you can use this one as a showcase. Uh, what I like about this is 
this nice looking. As you can see on the screen, um, courses display in a small thumbnail with the details of the courses and then the five star level rating. So you can easily see which courses have five stars, which courses has maybe fewer stars, and how many people have rated that. So that is the power of open source, peer review. You don't have to waste your time going around. You can just trust other people. For example, the learning how to learn. As we mentioned before, it is Dawao's favorite course. Nearly five star, so we round up to be five star, rated by nearly 5,000 people. So to me, I would trust that this is a good MOOC that worth looking at. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, we also have something called career guides. For now, we only have for data science. Uh, but the goal with career guides was to recommend courses that you could take. Rather than showing you, you a big list of courses, uh, we wanted to recommend that this is the course you take. So, for example, uh, the first part of this data science career guide, uh, we tell you which is the best course to learn programming if you're going to learn, if you wanted to learn data science. So our recommendation is this uh, learn to program a couple of courses from Coursera by un taught by University of uh, Toronto called learn to program. And who actually write this part? Uh, so we, uh, so this was written by David Venturi. Uh, he actually uh, dropped out of uh, his master's program and started building his own data science curriculum through online resources. So he did the research and uh, built this. And it's 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 a very long article. So so even though we just recommend, you can actually look at how why we recommended the put that particular course. Uh, it, it's a it's and then you can see details about all the other co courses that. Uh, in the series, or, or the courses that we looked at. Yeah, and this is the person who wrote the, uh, wrote the article. And he wrote, uh, like he, he wrote six parts uh, for the um, data science career guide. Um, it took us eight months to actually write these articles. Uh, as, as you listen from our keynote speakers yesterday and today, one of the most famous MOOC courses would be in the area of data science. So these kind of articles would be very helpful when um, choosing the right MOOC course. And I, I really like this guy. He dropped off his master's degree and then tried to learn what he thinks would be more useful and relevant. Yes, uh, yeah, I think he thought it was cheaper to do it online. And uh, the reason we wrote this guide is like if you go to uh, go to data science, there are around 400 courses, so uh, it can become really confusing for new learners on where to start. See, you're following data science. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, so it, it, yeah, there are too many courses here, and it can become sometimes difficult for uh, completely new learners to figure out which course to take. So we created the career guide to help help them make help reduce the pressure of making that decision. Wow. So hopefully we'll have like eventually we want to create a whole set of career or skill guides for all all the different skills that digital skills or even of uh, skills that the that we need to survive in the modern world but these are very difficult to write so that's why we haven't been able to come up with more um, should i go into mooc report uh, before that may, may i um, okay um, listening to dava give me more understanding of his website. But uh, before we go into deeper level, let me recap. 
uh, based on my view as a user of this very good and useful website. As you can see from my screen, I have already logged in. So my name appears on the top right hand side, Warasuang. And uh, well, I can select to view my courses, my profile, my reviews. I can set up my preferences. I can go to this follows link. Uh, for example, I follow Dawao Sha. Whatever he learned and he published it, I will know that he has learned that or he has dropped from that. So that is a way that I can learn from expert or can, I can follow my peers. Um, now, what is so beautiful about this website is this. Often I need to, to find some courses that I would like to learn immediately without any payment. I want immediate access to some certain courses uh, that has high quality and free. His website actually allows me to do so. For example, I, I, I type uh, marketing. When I search for marketing courses, well, this is what happens. Showing 437 courses. Now I can narrow it down. I want certificate. I want to study now so I can choose this self test. So it is on my own time, not by the instructor time. I have the freedom to study any time that I like. Um, okay, with certificate. And I can choose the area of focus. For example, um, of course, I'm not humanities, I'm not uh, health and medicine, but I am more of the education and teaching. So I filter it even more. And then this is a beautiful option, language. Of course, there isn't any Thai option yet, but I can filter it down. I know English, so I will choose English. And after all, his website would just give me a short list of the upcoming courses. Well, now, I, instead of browsing 437 courses, now there are only two courses I can choose right now. I can see, okay, the first one, design a world-class course on open learning. And second one, if you do Thai MOOC phase two, you will know this course, Video X. It doesn't mean naughty video. It means how to create video clip for Thai MOOC. And then in here, it says self test so I can d double sh make sure that it is on my own time. Unfortunately, there is no reviews yet. Okay, Tanajan Kap, if you do like this, then you can easily click on the information provided, watch the trailer here, and if you really want to enroll, just click go to class. It is that simple, so simple, and uh, I, I really enjoy doing this uh, on a regular basis because there are so many free courses available on a daily basis. And you can mark them as interesting. Oh, okay. I, actually, I have done this, so I would say I have completed. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. This is the things that say free. The best thing in our life is the free stuff. So you can actually un uh, learn this one for free. Language is English. Oh, and then certificate. It is not free. It will cost $25. But, but then you have to understand in MOOC environment, you can study the same content, doing the same assessment as a paid version, but for free. The only difference is you will not get a certificate. Who cares? I, sometimes I care. <laughs> okay, and uh, it would require me to spend two to four hours uh, of my time per week, and then only two weeks. 
then I can finish this course. Okay, so by looking at this key information on his website, you can make key decision whether or not you would like to enroll. Don't have to go anywhere else. And after you have enrolled, you can then come back and then perhaps make a review, mm -hmm. telling people if Please. this is a good course, how, how can I review? Can, can I uh, do the review now? Yeah? Uh, so it's here. Okay, write a review, say I really enjoy this. I will be first person in the world to review this on your website. I give it five star. How much of the course did you finish? Completed. Completed. Uh, this is medium. Which level of the course applied for beginner? How many hours did you spend per week? Only two hours per week. And write your review. Can I write in Thai language? Sure, go ahead. Okay. I know English first. It's an Anyone who wants to develop Okay, I have written a, a short review that this is an excellent course for anyone who would like to develop with all for MOOCs and then submit. So, 20 words. Just read one more sentence. One more sentence. Thank you. <laughs> this is <laughs> enough? I don't know. It, yeah. Okay. It works. It works. See now other people can browse this course and see my review. I give five stars, so this one, this course really deserves a five star. It is such a good course. I recommend Video X for all of you, even you don't do Thai MOOC video clips. You will understand how to um, prepare yourself before developing teaching materials like video clips. Okay, Dava. Give it back to you. Thank you. Uh, the reason we do minimum 20 words for reviews is it a uh, lot of people sometimes just are just playing with the buttons or like you don't know if they actually did the course oh, because right. sometimes they just write good course uh, and that's that's not useful to anyone. Mm. Many Thai people write review like this. Good. Excellent. <laughs> and that's it. And you don't know if so they actually finished the course or not, right? right? So, and sometimes uh, what I've also seen is many people <coughs> review the course before they, they say that I think this course will be really helpful to me. So they haven't actually taken the course, but they, th they review it based on what they think will happen. So, so when, I, uh, when I'm, you do a minimum 20 words, it makes it easier to figure out who's actually a real reviewer and who isn't. Am I real? You're, I saw you write it, so okay. yeah, you're real, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, the other, uh, so the other big thing we do outside of this aggregation is we write a lot about MOOCs. We have a publication called MOOC Report. Uh, where we constantly publish new MOOCs, uh, analysis and uh, uh, news about MOOCs. So uh, recently we published uh, analysis of uh, the 450 MOOC-based micro-credentials out there. This is actually also a paper that we'll publish in Learning with MOOCs conference that's happening in September in uh, Madrid. But uh, you can see we sort of uh, compare different micro-credentials, uh, like average price, effort required, and uh, I think this is a really good article. People should read it. Wow. So if there are any uh, instructor here who do research on MOOC, then they can easily get this report. Yes. Uh, and if you go to 
MOOC report is classcentral.com slash report. You can see all the articles that we have written on MOOCs. Um, like, and uh, if you, let's say, if you want only Udacity articles, if, if you go to this Udacity article, uh, you scroll down and you click on uh, Udacity tag and then you will see all Udacity articles that we have written. Uh, and you can sort of see, basically if you actually read these articles, you can see the evolution of Udacity. Uh, like you can see what they're announcing and um, one of the big things uh, we do is the end of year analysis of the MOOC space. So we do a comprehensive analysis of the MOOC space and if you scroll down you can see MOOCs through the years. And this was the 2017 series. Oh, all right. So you tell us by numbers. Which MOOC course has highest number of enrollment? Something uh, like that? Uh, it's more around the entire MOOC space, not individual MOOCs, but uh, these numbers you saw in this. In your presentation? Yeah, like the title of the presentation to a product at every price was based on the analysis I did. Uh, you can see these graphs, you can see all the articles we wrote for the end of year analysis. You, uh, one of the things we do now do is like we write individual. We cover individual pro course providers in detail. So we write about Coursera's 2017. Uh, so if you look at it, this is also a, like an extensive article. So if you want to know what Coursera is up to and how their 2017 was, you can read this article and we try to share as much detail as possible. Wow. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's... Before we continue, may, may I interrupt for one sec, please? May I ask? Well, he has referred to several major MOOC providers. Do you all know Coursera? I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know if you don't know, I'll tell you a little bit about the time to explain a little bit about it. I'll tell you a little bit about it. I'll tell you a little bit about it. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Udacity. Okay. MOOC. MOOC. ผู้ให้บริการมุกรายใหญ่ที่สุดในโลกคือยูเอ่อคอสเซล่านะครับอีกอันหนึ่งคล้ายๆกันเลยคือยูดาซิตี้นะครับแล้วก็มีเอ็ดอีดีเอ็กซ์หรือเรียกว่าเอ็ดเอ็กซ์นะครับแล้วอีกอันหนึ่งจริงๆดังมากพอกันคือขานอะคาเดมี่นะครับเอ่อคอสเซล่ามีวิชาเยอะให้ลงทะเบียนเรียนนะครับบางวิชาฟรีบางวิชาเก็บเงินแต่มันเป็นโปรไวท์ที่ใหญ่ที่สุดในโลกยูดาซิตี้ก็เหมือนกันบางวิชาเรียนฟรีบางวิชาจ่ายเงินแต่ใหญ่สุดในโลกสองอันนี้เราสามารถเลือกลงทะเบียนเป็นรายวิชาหรือเราสามารถเลือกลงทะเบียนเป็นกลุ่มวิชากลุ่มวิชาเพราะว่าอะไรเพราะว่าเราจะได้เหมือนกับมินิประกาศสัญญาบัตรของกลุ่มวิชานั้นยังไม่ใช่ปริญญาจริงๆนะครับเช่นถ้าอยากจะสร้างรายวิชาในมูกเป็นมันก็จะมีอของของไทยมูกนะครับจะมี s x Course Creator ดังนั้นจะมี4วิชาย่อยคือ s x 1 0 1 Studio X Video X แล้วก็ Blended X นะครับนั่นคือ4วิชารวมกันแล้วนะครับแต่ละวิชาเนี่ยเราสามารถได้ Certificate ย่อยพอรวม4วิชาปุ๊บเราจะได้ Group Certificate สำหรับบางที่มันมีความหมายมากนะครับทีนี้เข้าไปไกลกว่านั้นนะคอสเซล่ากับยูดาซิตี้เนี่ยเรียนปริญญาโทได้เลยนะครับเรียนจริงๆออนไลน์เลยค่าเทอมถูกมากประมาณ 300,000 บาทไทยสอนโดยมหาลัยชั้นนำของโลกที่อเมริกาดังด้านเดต้าไซน์นะครับดังนั้นเว็บของดาวเนี่ยก็จะเป็นลิงก์กับคอสเซล่ายูดาซิตี้นะครับคาร์เนคเดมี่เอ็ดเอ็แล้วก็พยายามลิงก์ข้อมูลว่ามีวิชาอะไรเปิดขึ้นมาแล้วมาบอกเรา I'm sorry I just explained it just make sure that we are on the same page understand what is Coursera, Udacity, 
and I also refer to edX and also Khan Academy. Those are the words I understood. Oh, right, right. <laughs> you don't know Thai yet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, please. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, we have been publishing <coughs> this. Uh, so if you go, uh, you can see all the previous years of analysis. I've been publishing analysis since 2012, but last two, three years we have become, uh, we provide a lot more details. Um, or if you don't want everything, you can just read the final article, which is, the, which is a summary of the entire 2017. Um, we also do something called uh, MOOC Watch, uh, which try, we try to publish every two, three months. And what we do is like we summarize all the news in, uh, in that period. So, and if you saw some of the, my keynote talk, uh, some of the graphics that we used, I uh, used in the talk, uh, actually uh, we made it for MOOC, talk, MOOC Watch. Um, so this is uh, this is uh, this is the late last one that we published, uh, and it's you know it's like a small intro, and then uh, and then it's like the top stories that happened in the last few months. So uh, you can even subscribe uh, for the newsletter here for the MOOC Watch, and it gives you a way to keep up with the what's happening in the MOOC space. Uh, you know, maybe four to five emails a, a year, and that's that's enough for you to keep up instead of trying to, you know, if you don't have the time to actually see what's ha happening. So we, we do that for you, so. Uh, so Dawao, since your website provides so much of the good stuff, not only I will be able to search for my preferred courses, I can also read so many interesting reports. Do I need to pay to use your website? Yeah, you should pay me. <laughs> uh, pay but no, it's all free. But I take donations. Uh, okay, you, uh, yes, uh, this is true. Uh, this website accept donation. Uh, no, we no, don't. Not no, yet. no, not yet, no. <laughs> People don't really donate, so. Okay, so you survive on uh, advertising? Uh, yes, we make revenue through advertising uh, and also affiliate. So if you end up going to, let's say, Coursera, and if you pay Coursera, then we get a small cut. I see. So we don't have this partnership with everyone, but we have with Coursera, edX. Uh, but generally, it's, yeah, you can see ads on this page, like if you... You can see this ad and a lot of online educations uh, institute like advertise because we have a large uh, dedicated audience and also our ad rates are cheap. Okay. Do you have information uh, of your users, for example, um, how many people access your website from Thailand? Um, any demographic information of your users yet? Uh, geographic, probably it's in the analytics, but I have never looked at uh, it. Uh, usually I look at much higher level, uh, it's like Europe or Asia, um, like US is 30% of our audience. After that it's India, which is 10% and then UK. UK. Um, this reflects reality. Uh, those countries that you mentioned, UK, India, they tend to find a way to improve themselves more aggressive than other nations. So they, they find, they hunt for their courses uh, more, right? I mean, India has a lot of population, so the 10% is not surprising. All oh, right. Uh, but it's also because the site is in English, we don't have any translations. That's something we need, we want to tackle so that it's accessible to people outside of non-English speaking countries. So unfortunately, uh, even though we're in Thailand, this page doesn't switch to Thailand. 
uh, the Thai language. Uh, did Coursera switch to Thai language? Um, no, not all. Um, unfortunately, Thai language is not that popular yet, maybe in the near future. Okay. Um, as you can see, this is a very comprehensive website. It keeps changing more features, adding on all the times. Last year, I browsed. I, it looks a little bit different. Right now, he keeps adding more features. But what I also like is, uh, as you can see from, from the banner, okay, um, from the banner say, discover free online courses from Ivy League schools in the States. Top universities are called Ivy League. They play American football and they have been uh, nicknamed as Ivy League. Well, there are so many free uh, courses that you can enroll, 374 courses that you can enroll um, from universities that are top class. Um, okay, let, let me try to find the right courses. Well, I, I filter it down to courses with certificate. I filter it down to courses in education and training, and then I can filter it down to English language. Let's see how many courses I have left. Seven. Seven courses. Um, can, I, can I filter it down to three courses? Seven is not that complicated. Yep, so I can have a look. Um, American education reform, orchestrating whole classroom discussion. So this looks good from University of Pennsylvania, UPenn. So I click on it. What do we have here? Okay. Now I can see this is provided by Coursera. Um, free to study online, uh, auditing the course, of course, and um, paid certificate is available, but we don't know yet because it is not yet open. Uh, it's probably open. It's an old course. So on Coursera, it's they automatic on Coursera. They basically start a new session every two to four weeks. Okay. So you could probably sign up and access it Im immediately, yeah. I see. Um, well, as you can see, you can do a lot of things. Um, browsing for the right courses is so easy. Normally for Thai person to go to the state to study at an Ivy League institution, it is not easy. You need a lot of money. You need to have million of baht. You need to have TOEFL. You need to have TOEIC, maybe, or maybe something else. But GRE. Uh, yeah, but this sometimes you can just just enroll. Uh, yeah, and there's another feature where we have like related courses. Oh right. So if you like this course, you can see other courses similar to this. Oh okay. In case one course is not uh, running right now, you can check other courses that might be running. Okay, so this is good. Uh, Dan Kap, I think up until now you might already understand about his website. Just would like to pause this and uh, would like to ask if you have opinion or any questions, please feel free to, to share your thought or ask questions.
school inside as well. Okay. So maybe in, in, in your website, maybe you will have a language or not. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Okay. Try this with the help of Professor Google. Let let me yeah, uh, let's try together. If we can make his website available in Thai language, because um, last year and the year before, uh, the the founder of Merlo dot org, uh, Professor Jerry Herald, he come here and on his website Merlo dot org, he has Thai version with the help of Bing translator. Embed that to to website. So let me try with Google Translate. Okay, let's see if we can have his website in Thai version. Well, the banner cannot change, of okay. course. Uh, but but now, okay, all right, getting better. Ah, it says popular online courses. <laughs> she likes it. Okay, so now there's no no barrier. You can for all the ties. Mm. So, sir, please consider adding <laughs> Professor Google to your website. Okay, wow, everything is in Thai language. Wow, but your name still is in English. Wow, uh, I have to say that wow, that the translation. It's quite good, accurate. Okay. Okay. What else? Okay, this is very good start. Any more comments or questions, please? <laughs> Now we we already help him improve his website. Arik, I know the professor from from that course. Can can you show which course? Uh, digital Thank marketing. You. Oh, digital marketing, a very popular courses in Thailand right It's now. It's actually called marketing in digital world. Oh, marketing in digital world. No. Yeah. Urbana. Oh, 163 reviews. Yeah. What you say? All time something? All time top 50. So this is one of the top. Yeah. Oh right. So here, all time top 50. I wonder if Google can translate this. Let me try. <laughs> Curious. It will. So we will reduce the gap of. Yeah, oh, okay, excellent. Oh, okay. It says in Thai, quite okay. I understand that. All right. I I, I tell you one secret, Davao. The there is one um, good-looking gentleman in this room. He will be the next speaker. Uh, he has um, his own LMS called. Um, My course will, and he also look after Tula Mook. Maybe one day you can include Tula Mook there. <laughs> that is the Dr. Atiwong uh, onto your website. That 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 kind of Mook is uh, impressive as well. Okay, so so we can we can now really use Google Translate to to browse his website. So that is no longer a question. And any more comments, please? I, we would like to hear from you now. Okay, so far we have heard two voices from this side. How about this side? <laughs> Anyone would like to comment anything? Cup, a chan me comment a line, make up me come time, like my turn, like up your curtain, cup your curtain. So you can number hacking.
So when I started, I had like 25, 30 competitors, but almost all of them have died out. So there's no money in the business I am in, so they all ran out of money or ran out of interest. Some of them actually raised uh, millions of dollars. There's one company that had 50 employees, but they, there's no money in the b online education, so it turned out to be good for me. Um, and one of the things we do is like, many people just, one of the things I noticed from my competitors, they didn't really want to understand what the space is. They just wanted to build the technology. They just want to aggregate courses and build a search engine. Uh, and they really didn't do the courses. Uh, I do these courses. And I also write about the MOOC space. So they were never interested in the actual space. They just wanted to figure, like they just wanted to crea create some business around it. And that's why they couldn't uh, persist. Uh, they never wrote articles, they never did any analysis. So I think that's one of the reasons. The reason people know about Class Central is more, like it's through our articles. Uh, we have good, uh, we do really well on Google. So if you don't know about Class Central, you search for it and search for just courses and you might end up on Class Central. And we get a lot of users through that. Uh, but the reason like uh, Michael knows is mostly through articles because we constantly write quality articles. Uh, this Ivy League, uh, we wrote an article about that last year around Ivy League schools and it got 4 million views, uh, which is quite surprising to me. But that, uh, that kind of constant, uh, we publish two articles a week. We constantly try to move the whole space forward w with whatever minimum efforts we c can. Uh, whatever resources we have. And I think that's why we survived where others didn't. Uh, others tried to uh, look at other sites like, like in US, TripAdvisor is very popular. And they tried to rush ahead and build all the features that TripAdvisor had. But they had none of the information whether uh, the courses are good. They didn't have users who would review courses. So, so even building the technology didn't help and nobody used their website. So I think that's my theory on why we survived and others didn't. I would like to add uh, to this, uh, because he is the owner of his website. So I'm, I'm not owner of this website. I always search for MOOC courses all the time. I have found many MOOC search engines. Uh, I have to say the quality of the article that he adds and also the community of the users, no other channels can really compare. Um, I often trust comments from people around the world. Say, if one course has 1,000 reviews, I tend to follow that kind of review first and then I would use my own experience to judge after that. But that really helps. Other search engines, other MOOC search engines don't have that big community. And uh, that was the first thing I impressed about this website. And after that, his articles. Every year he published the end of year review. That is something I cannot find elsewhere. And to be honest, as a researcher, if I have to write article, I cannot find credible information from elsewhere. So his website provide me a peace of mind, uh, easy information to digest in an easy format to look at. And uh, that is the, the main uh, strength. And uh, I don't know, but this is true. Yesterday, I introduced Davao to other keynote speakers. I said Davao from Class Central. All of them said, ah, Class Central. See, that, that is the pop up, uh, popularity of, of the website. And um, so since he is here already, uh, I hope that one day, really, integration of MOOC courses from Thailand, uh, Chula Lungkorn MOOC, or Thai MOOC uh, can be added to your website in the future, and also uh, Addition of Thai language version, hmm. it would be great. Any more comments, please? Dr. Amon Wan.
So I started this site seven years ago, and I was doing one of the first MOOCs uh, uh, from uh, a Stanford professor called uh, Sebastian and It was an artificial intelligence class. And when I was doing that course, Stanford started announcing more courses. Uh, and what happened was uh, each course had a different website. So it was ai-class.org, uh, hci-class.org, ml-class.org. So all I wanted was to build a, like a one, I wanted to see the courses on one page. So I just, over a weekend, I just built a site that listed all these 15, 16 Stanford courses on a single page, which you could sort by start date. So it wasn't like a big plan. I just built it in two, three days. Uh, and it was just one page. And I just happened to be at the right place, right time. And initially, many people thought we were the official Stanford site, and they started sharing Class Central links. Uh, and within two, three months, we got 30,000, we are reaching 30,000 people a month. So just quite lucky. And then I slowly, you know, I started writing articles. I kept working on it. It was still, for two years, it was still a side project. I didn't, I wasn't really serious about it. Uh, but then I started seeing more and more, uh, like, providers being pop up, more and more uh, countries getting involved. So I decided to um, see if I can work on it full time. And I was able to raise a small investment, which I, and that allowed me to quit my job and then work on it full time. So it, it all like, I never planned like the next step, next step, it just came together. So it wasn't like a big plan. Uh, I just I just did things that I found interesting and luckily it turned out uh, well for me, so. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So um, we still have a little bit of time. We now know his motivation and it's come actually from his own interest. Um, that MOOC course that he referred to, the artificial intelligence uh, by Sebastian Trun, uh, was the very first X MOOC course on Earth. Mm -hmm. um, nearly 170,000 people enrolled. How, uh, about nearly 7,000 people passed. I did too. Oh, he was one of the those who passed, so I have to give him a big hand. โรงทะเบียนแสนเจ็ดหมื่นคนผ่านเจ็ดพันคนเรียนมุกสิบห้าสัปดาห์วิชา AI ของมหาที่ยากที่สุดในโลกสแตนฟอร์ดนั่นเป็นจุดกำเนิดแรกของมุกที่เราเข้าใจกันอยู่ไทยมุกเป็นอย่างนั้นนะครับเรียกว่า X m o o กก่อนหน้านั้นจะมีอีกมุกหนึ่งเรียกว่า Connectivist MOOC C MOOC อันนั้นเกิดตั้งแต่ปี2008อาจารย์นี่แคนาดาเขามีวิชาที่สอนในห้องเรียนลูกศิษย์20คนเขามาทำเป็นออนไลน์เวอร์ชันด้วยตัวเองให้คนในโลกนี้มาเรียนได้พร้อมกันอันนั้น 2,000 คนลงทะเบียนเรียนพร้อมกันตอนนั้นน่ยมันเป็นจุดกำเนิดของมุกปี2008นะครับก็เราเคยเชิญเข้ามาเป็นคีโนสปิเกอร์ที่นี่เหมือนกันอาจารย์ที่สอนวิชานั้นนะครับชื่อสตีเฟนดาวน์สตีเฟนดาวน์ยูสต์ทูบีเฮียทรีเยสเอ็กโกและเขาแนะนำเฟิร์สมูคคอร์สซีมูคในปี2008แต่เอไอที่คุณทำคือเฟิร์สมูคคอร์สดังนั้นทุกอย่างทั้งหมดฉันอยากจะบอกว่าดาวน์เป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขาเป็นคนที่รู้จักมูคเขา With pride, and right now he has this very meaningful website. I hope we will enjoy his service, and uh, he will stay here a little bit longer. If you would like to talk to him in person, please feel free to do so. Um, after this, we're gonna take a break. We have more than 15 minutes. We have about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, uh, we're gonna have a new chair person. It is going to be a chair lady, um, assistant professor Dr. Namun from Silapakot University will kindly become chairperson in this room, and uh, we are going to have a special talk by 
Associate Professor Dr. Ati Wong from Faculty of Engineering Tula l u n g k o n University. He has a lot of secret on Tula m u k You can ask him whatever questions he has prepared. I heard that you also have some gift. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay. Um, so today it has been a pleasure having this session with you all. Uh, I have to say thank you again to d a v o who. Is here with us and share a lot of meaningful information. And uh, please join me to give him a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. ครับก็ขอเบรกสักประมาณ20นาทีนะครับแล้วเดี๋ยวกลับมาเซสชั่นของท่านรองศาสตราจารย์ดรอติวงศ์ครับขอบคุณครับ